Good day and welcome to the news. Terrorists can't attack my church. I will tear them into pieces. Oye depo. Now, the news in full. Presiding Bishop Living Faith Church Worldwide, David Oye depo, on Sunday said no demonic Fulani terrorist can attack his church, saying that they will die. He said if they did not die, it meant that God has not sent him. Bishop Oyedepo spoke at the Church's Covenant Day of Exemption Service, first service at Canaland, Ogun State. Since those wicked devils showed up in Nigeria, not once have they succeeded to do havoc in our church, not once. There is no madness that does not recognize fire. This is not by mouth. This is Jesus in the midst of his people. Can you imagine a dog going to rob a lion's house? They say, where are you going? He said, I am a mad dog. I am going to deal with that lion today. Have you seen that before? They saw a banner and they said, this is fire. Till Jesus returns. No demonic Fulani or Islamites will enter our church. If they don't die at entry, I am not sent by God. Under this covering, as ordained by God, come to church and relax. Let me see that devil who will dare your coming in or going out. Look up, the lion is here. He will tear you to pieces. I am sent by God to rescue people from all kinds of oppression, including the Fulani mad people. Please place this. I am a winner sticker on your door. Let it be the one that carries my picture. God sent me. They know the ones who sent them. Even the ones who sent them know. You are carrying fire on your head today. Anyone that sees you will see the fire burning on your head. Oyedepo said in the message, transcript by Church Gist. According to him, I have never seen any madness that does not recognize fire. That is why when they don't push mad people away from fire, when he gets there, he knows this is fire. Fire by every mortal man, mad or mad, is recognized. From now, every evil will recognize you as a fireman and a firewoman. The mark of exemption will come alive afresh. It will be on your head. It will be on your house and all that you own. Ever since the massacre at the St. Francis Catholic Church at All War on the state, it has left a lot of churchgoers scared. And here we have the presiding bishop of Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo. And yeah, is on is actually on a Sunday service sermon, and the sermon was and the service was called the Church's Covenant Day of Exemption Service, and yeah, he's speaking to his congregation about not being afraid and actually relaxing in church. He said, "No demonic Fulani terrorists can attack this church, saying that they will die." He talked about ever since this mad, wicked devils showed up in Nigeria, that no ones have they succeeded in creating havoc in his church, and that there's no madness that doesn't recognize fire. And he said this is not by mouth, that there's Jesus in the midst of his people. He also went ahead to say that, Till Jesus returns, no demonic Fulani or Islamites will enter his church. He said if they don't die by entry, then he's not sent by God. And he said under this covering as ordained by God, come to church and relax. He's simply putting the minds of his congregation at rest, as, at rest, saying that under the covering of the Holy Spirit, under the covering of God, that they can come to church and relax. 
that no devil will actually dare that going out and coming in. And he went ahead to um, say how he's going to tear them into pieces. That he sent by God and was sent to deliver everyone from oppression, including the Fulani mad people. He also went ahead to prophesy into the lives of his congregation, saying that they are carrying fire on their head and anyone that sees them will see the burning fire. He also said that evil will recognize them as firemen and firewomen and the mark of exemption will come alive afresh in their lives. He also told them to place the I am a winner stickers on their doors and they should place the one that actually carries his picture. Now, uh, the one thing I really love about this is that while giving this sermon, he specifically used certain adjectives like demonic, fulani, and um, Islamites. He didn't say all fulanis and all Islamites. He just said the demonic ones, the ones that actually had evil intentions. Because ever since this Fulani headsmen, gunmen, and even the, with the war attack going on, we've seen situations of people actually coming out, to see, of Hausa people, Fulani people actually coming out to speak on this matter and talk about how they are being stereotyped and because they are Fulanis, because they are Hausas, no one even wants to know if they are Christians or even if they are not Muslims or even if they are even. They even live in the north. As long as they know that, oh, they are Aousas or they are Fulanis, they just immediately start attacking them or um, make it look as if they are these this terrorists. But then he specifically said the demonic Fulanis, terrorists, and Islamites. And this is something that a lot of church um, clerics and pastors are actually doing at the moment trying to put the minds of the congregation at rest because after the all war incident a lot of churchgoers have actually been scared going to church it actually puts a lot of people minds um in a rage we also had the woman who went viral with a gun around her neck in church and this just shows you that a lot of people are scared of, of their for their lives a lot of citizens are scared now they've seen that the security in the country isn't good and they're taking matters into their own hands by trying to protect themselves and um david oyede boy here is telling his congregation that they should feel relaxed in the church in the presence of their maker that they should feel relaxed and they should not have any reason to fear that no fulani terrorists can actually attack the church They've, um, ever since he said this, they've actually been a little, um, outpour of love and applaud from a lot of people concerning this. And while some people still have their own reservations with the preaching, a lot of people have their own reservations with the preaching. Some saying that, um, not in mentioning the Fulanese and the Islamites in, in particular wasn't supposed to be done. But then, this is not just him doing this. This is time and time again as proven that the Fulanis, the um, Islamites, uh, the Islams are actually the ones that are perpetrating this evil. But then, like he said, the demonic ones, not all. And so this leaves me with wanting to know what every other person thinks on this issue my dear listeners what do you think leave your views and your opinions in the comment section and we'll engage with you guys there don't forget to like this news share and subscribe to our channel so that you receive an update every time a post is made that will be it from us today guys thank you for listening and god bless